You're going to eat it. Flip or flop. <laughs> We're gearing up. The new Olympic event for the SA Live <laughs> Flapjack Fiesta. Plus, color and block. It's all about color blocking with neutrals for spring. And some are bright and some are slimy. Others are scaly and slithery. A sneak peek at this weekend's Reptile Expo. Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. A beautiful spring day. Oh, look at that. Is that the sunshine? It Finally. Is. I think so. <laughs> And folks are enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Well, it is a manic Monday. And what better way to start the week than with a stack of sweet pancakes? And it's all for a good cause. Yes, indeed. She is Fiona <laughs> Gorstiza. I am my ghost agent. Before we take off on the SA Live, what's it called again? The, the flip? The flapjack flap, fiesta. Flapjack fiesta. Yes. <laughs> Say that ten times this fast. <laughs> Got to get this to roll off the tongue right there. Uh, we want to start off again. We're talking about your favorite mm -hmm. good comfort. You know, we always talk about comfort food, mm -hmm. but comfort breakfast. Oh yeah. What's what's yours? Uh, the always go tos, mm. making pancakes mm -hmm. and uh, sausage gravy and biscuits. Oh my god, you read my mind. Maybe That's with some scrambled favorite. eggs on the side. Yes, even with a, yep. and, and with us like a side of waffles or pancakes, just right on in with it. And if bacon. you're going to go, go and bake. If you're going to go, yeah, and toast, and cinnamon toast. <laughs> and everything. Or cinnamon toast with a crust cut off like my grandmother used to do. So, anyway. so let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter, what is your go-to comfort breakfast? Nothing is off the table. Yes, but <laughs> pancakes, pancakes, warm stack of pancakes, and all those delectable. I love the variety of syrups that they always have. The strawberry, the blueberry, the pecan, and old-fashioned, good old-fashioned. And Valerie Lopez is here to talk about the... National, uh, national Pancake, pancake Day. Day. How exciting. Yes. It, it has become a national holiday, hasn't it? Well, it yeah. I think. Yeah, I would I, say so. It's a national, okay. it's got its own day tomorrow, and you guys are helping celebrate, right? Yes, yeah, so this year marks IHOP's 13th annual National Pancake Day, a day where we celebrate the delicious pancakes as well as giving back to our community. So tomorrow on February 27th from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., you can come in and you will receive a free short stack of buttermilk pancakes. And Lou, what you would pay for a free stack of pancakes, IHOP encourages guests to donate to help benefit the Shriners Hospital for Children. So okay. even if you want to go above and beyond what the usual short stack yes, costs, course. that's fantastic, right? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, so where does the money raised um, go to? So this year, nationally, IHOP is expected to raise $5 million. So IHOP is encouraging guests to purchase an icon to publicly pledge or you know, make a donation in our bucket or make a donation on your check. And Shriners Hospital for Children is basically dedicated to help children you know, to get innovative care for world-class research. It's basically for children to get care regardless of the family's ability to pay. Okay, now, as far as the number of pancakes, a short stack are we counting right there about mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six or so in there? Is that about a short stack? Yeah. How many pancakes are going to be served nationwide? So every single day, IHOP serves 700,000 people. But this year for National Pancake Day, IHOP is expected to sell 5 million pancakes tomorrow. 5 well, million. How stack go up? Forever. <laughs> what syrup would it take to cover that much? I couldn't even tell you. But imagine I've... 5 million 500,000 gallons. We'll go with that number. So, okay. Uh, IHOP, of course, is celebrating the 13 years of it, and it's from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow. Yes. And for more information on how you can donate to Shriners Hospitals, visit IHOPPancakeDay.com. Now, before we go, you've got a challenge for us, right? right. Of course. So are you all ready? I think so. Uh, yes. So this is the <laughs> say yes. Flap Jack say yes. Fiesta Contest. So we'll go ahead and have you come right over here. Okay. Okay. We have Gaddis and Marty right behind y'all. Hi, Gaddis. Right. Hi, Marty. Okay. Right. So Remember, I gave you a buck to catch <laughs> <me> first, <laughs> So what y'all are going to do, y'all are going to grab a spatula, grab, grab one of the pancakes, okay. and you are going to flip it over your head. On and Gaddis and Marty, we're going to catch it. Okay, so, are they, so wait, we have 30 seconds, right? 30 the seconds. Clock, and whoever's got the most, whoever catches the most pancakes yeah. there wins, right? You know, what? I, I'm not going to say what I'm going to... Are you looking? Are you cheating? Looking up at the monitor? Okay, totally. ready? <laughs> ready? Ready? On your mark, uh -huh. get set, go! Oh, oh we got a tie going on. Another tie, two, three, a tie, good job. Four, we're going for the fourth. What about a fifth one? A fifth one? Wait, wait, wait. Fiona has five. Mike, These are stuck five. In Fiona has six. Six, oh, they dropped one. Fantastic. Oh, look at how you... <laughs> and 
and they're all even in the stack, isn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> shenanigans, shenanigans. Oh, very nice. Thank you so much, Marty. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yes. Appreciate it, Valerie. And don't forget course. again, <laughs> National Pancake Day is coming up tomorrow from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. at your local IHOP restaurant. And 500 million pancakes is what they're no wait five million that's how many we flipped just now something yes, like that's that. what it feels like right yes it does <laughs> well we're all about giving back on today's show and you know our resident foodie is known for the good local eats he finds around town and now he's delivering those goods straight to you yep new segment called david delivers take a look eaten delicious food at a lot of great restaurants and now i want to share this great food with people from around san antonio i reached out on facebook a few weeks ago for people to elect someone that makes a positive impact in the community to receive a free lunch there were a lot of great responses so today we are teaming up with nettie aguilar to recognize dolly wilder a first grade elementary school teacher Nettie was introduced to Dolly years ago when her daughter became enrolled in Miss Wilder's first grade classroom. She's been a teacher for 25 years. Uh, my daughter was a student in 2008, 2009. And every year, I mean, parents and students come visit her every year because she's such a wonderful teacher. Nettie's daughter is so inspired by Miss Wilder that she wants to go to college and become a first grade teacher just like her. And a part of giving back to the teacher is going to be giving her a free lunch. And to do that, Bill Deere here from Pasha and Bacchaval Bakery. Now, Bill, you actually are providing us with some croissant sandwiches that you have over at Bacchaval Bakery, right? That's correct. This is a really great thing to do, and uh, anything we can do to give back to a teacher like this is really wonderful. Miss Wilder's husband, Casey Wilder, along with other first grade teachers, the vice principal, and the principal, joined us in the big surprise. All right, so we're walking in Miss Wilder's classroom right now. We're not being too quiet. We're not being too secretive about this. <laughs> Do you remember me? One of the parents. <laughs> I wanted to stop by and tell you thank you for everything you've done. <laughs> for our community, you're an awesome teacher. Here you go. Thank you. And I also want to tell you I brought a few friends. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Here we go. So Mrs. Wilder, we wanted to say thank you so much for everything you've done for the San Antonio community. And we brought your husband. <laughs> and you know, 25 years teaching, and you've done so much to impact a lot of lives here in San Antonio. And we wanted to give back to you by providing you with lunch and great food here. And this is by Baklava Bakery and Pasha. They're bringing out lunch for you and some extra lunch for everybody else who's involved. <laughs> but we all just wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much. Come over here, Nettie. She's, you know, she coordinated this whole thing. Her daughter was in my classroom many years ago and she wanted, to, she now wants to be a teacher. Isn't that, and it was because of you. Yes, yes. <laughs> you deserve it. <laughs> we really appreciate Miss Wilder. She's very compassionate and caring for all of her students. She's a very good listener and she always has a positive attitude. You'll see her walking down the hallway with a smile. And so we're very lucky that she's here. Thank you so much. Okay. Everybody wipe up. Yay! For SA Live, I'm David Elfish. Ties great and stuff right. like that. It's done for great teachers like that. Right. All right. Well, if you want more information on uh, David Delivers and maybe want to participate, mm -hmm. just head on to our website, salive.com, and click on the Ask Scene on SA Live tab. All right. Coming up, we have, oh, no. Go oh, cool schools. I forgot about that. I am sorry. That's okay. You know a new month means new means new cool schools voting begins. Yes, indeed. And this we are going to Lackland ISD student councils, the Let's Talk and student to student out there at Lackland ISD. So get ready to go online and vote for your favorite program out there. And right now. Wow, student to student. No, student council, 52% right now. Student uh -huh. to student is not too far behind with 46% of the vote. So once again, Lackland ISD, cool school this month. All right, next on the show, we're slithering into your week with Bright and Scaly Friends, a preview of the Texas Reptile Expo next. And modern Mediterranean cuisine with a healthy twist. Two recipes perfect for the spring season. Stay with us.
You're looking at a Mexican hog nose snake. Is that right, Curtis? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are all about the reptiles today. I have Blaine Eaton with Divine Reptiles and his cute grandson, Curtis. And Curtis, you know a lot about this. You've actually found this guy, right? Mm -hmm. Captured him. You want to take him out? I'll take that. His name is Dead Meat because the first eight or nine times <laughs> I picked him up, he played dead. Blaine, tell me about that. This is what they're known for, right? The they play dead. are known for playing dead. Uh, they spread a hood like a cobra. Uh huh. And if you tease them, they play dead. And uh, if you turn them over on their stomach, they roll right back over to prove you they're still dead. Now, this is one of the snakes that is very common in the pet trade and it can be found for sale at uh, the Texas Reptile Expo. Got it, and that's coming up on March 3rd and 4th, but you said this is the only snake that actually plays dead, right? Right, in that's the United States there are some snakes in Africa and Asia that play dead, but here this snake plays dead and it's well known for that. Curtis is going to put that up and he's going to pull out the big red-eyed tree frog. And these are sold in the pet trade. These are found in Central America. Okay. And Curtis is going to pull one out and he's going to hand it to you. Okay. <gasps> they're so cute. Oh, my goodness. Tell me about and these. And they're jumpers. These guys. They are jumpy. In captivity, you feed them uh, crickets. Uh, they need to be kept moist, a nice terrarium that's warm and moist. He feels very moist. <laughs> like he's all... Did yeah. you guys... Do you keep them... We in... keep them moist. Okay. Got it. And uh, you and can find have... these at the reptile shows. You can also find them online. Uh, now, is this... Um, for as far as being a pet, is it difficult to? It's not have as a too pet? difficult mm -hmm. as long as you keep them warm. I don't recommend it for a first-time okay. reptile owner. Uh -huh. uh, first-time reptile people, uh, corn snakes, bearded dragons, uh, frogs sometimes can be difficult because you've got to keep a nice high humidity and temperature. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. And do these guys have names? No. Cute. And, and they're beautiful. They loaned us they some of these animals because we don't keep a lot of these animals at our place. Oh, he's making a noise. Okay, what's next? Okay. One of the turtles that you frequently find at reptile shows is kind of weird. It's called side neck turtles. And they can't draw their head into the shells like normal turtles. So their shells are devised to where they can wrap their necks around their body. Oh my goodness. You see how he's hiding his yeah. head and his neck. And you can find them at the reptile shows. But again, they're an aquatic turtle. Okay. So they need good filtration. Okay. And like any other aquatic animal, always use antiseptic. Yes. Uh, because aquatic animals have the capability of carrying salmonella. That's why we keep pumping this, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, uh, what is next? This is called a blue tongue skink. It is a lizard. They're found in Australia, ah. New Guinea. Is this is one of your favorites. Uh, they're mm -hmm. found in Indonesia. You can actually hold it. Okay. I'll hand it to you, Curtis. And just support it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, he's not going to stick his tongue out. Um, their tongue is very long and wide and is just as blue as can be. So what makes we, him, is he, when he's hungry, he's, we, he's like, he If we had a banana here, he'd stick Aww, his tongue out trying to get I'm the banana. Sorry. They eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. No bananas. Uh, in the wild, they also eat, have been known to eat snails. Oh, we did just have strawberries. <laughs> we should have got some strawberries, yeah. right? Yeah. We should have grabbed a strawberry. But these uh, are very popular in the pet trade. So blue, and there's any significance behind that? Oh, we got to move on to the next animal. Well, We're blue tongue skink, and there is a, another skink called the pink tongue that actually has a pink tongue. No way! You got your pink and blue. How about that? Now, and the, the other thing about them is they do not lay eggs. They give live birth. Oh. So there are some reptiles that give live birth. Now, this next one I'll pull out. Okay. This is uh, an Argentina tegu. Okay. <laughs> this is a black and white Argentine tegu. Is that his favorite blanket? That's, That's a his blanket favorite for blanket. It. <laughs> so the tegu oh. comes out of Argentine. Uh, there's three species in South America, and they are just basically a New World monitor. Okay. Um, they have serrated teeth like the shark and monitors. So cool. Uh, this one, the black and white tegu, actually makes the best pet of the three species. Be on the lookout. You're here to help. You're here to answer questions at the Expo March 3rd and, and 4th. 4th. And we at have the all Lions that Club in McQueenie. McQueenie, Texas. All that information on SALive.com. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. Is this your favorite? I want to hold.
All right, look at those beautiful colors in that bowl. A fresh Mediterranean recipe that will make you happy and healthy. Plus, you don't got to clash when you color block. We're sharing color blocking tips and ideas from Anthony Ryan with Colorblind. Tomorrow on SA Live, under the sea with a baby beluga. Oh, yes, Mike dives right into the deep end at SeaWorld San Antonio in another edition of Try It Tuesday. Plus, it's a San Antonio staple opening a new location, and we have the exclusive look at the newest Burger Boy. And a juice joint serving like no other. A taste of squeezers and their San Antonio-themed drinks. That's all tomorrow at 1. Well, there is another place in oh, another place in town serving. Whoa, hey, 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 there we it's go. I'm going to leave this up to you yeah, because yeah. i got to leave it up to the professionals. <laughs> They're making fresh recipes from scratch. And Anis Del El Hayani, owner of Trio Modern Mediterranean, is here. And we've got not one, but two Still recipes, okay. right, to, to show. Yes. Okay, and the first one we're going to make right now, and that's called? It's going to be yogurt dill. It's like a tzatziki sauce. Okay. We're doing it our way. Okay. Uh, First, you're gonna start with the yogurt. This is a Greek yogurt right here. Okay. And, and about how much of this Greek you yogurt? You can put all in. All, all in. Okay. Here you go. All right. There you go. There you go. Ooh, that smells uh, so good. Okay. So, and we're gonna add some cucumber. All right. We're gonna put all in right there. Is that about a cup of yeah. cucumber? Uh -huh. Yes, about a cup of cucumber. About a half ounce of uh, dill wheat. Okay. That's good. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna fresh squeeze lemon juice. Lemon juice. We okay. Got, uh, uh, olive oil, extra oh. virgin. Olive oil, and nice we have and healthy. We have uh, garlic. A little bit of garlic. Hold on, do we have hey, a spoon There you go, I got a spoon right here. there. There you go, there you go. We're going to get this garlic go. in there, okay. Give me some salt. Some salt, and pepper. all of this? Hey, yes, yeah, salt. Okay. That's good. And, okay. and half of the pepper right there. Half of the yep. pepper. All right, nobody yeah, sneeze yeah. or watch the wind. There you go. Okay. And you're going to mix it together. Okay. Yeah. All so right. uh, if anybody at home watching, mm -hmm. they can have they can have it differently. The way we do, we have mint, uh, we have the dill wheat. They can do uh, cucumber, like they can cut it bigger, smaller. It doesn't matter how you cut it. I mean, in the end, it's gonna come out all the same. So that's how you could make it at home. Yeah, and again, you can kind of make it your own. You, like know, you, you can said, make right? it your own. You can add anything you want. You can uh -huh. add the oregano if you like. Uh, the way we do, we make it with dill wheat, cucumber, okay. and. Uh, now, what makes Mediterranean Trio so unique? Uh, trio is uh, actually for the three things. Let's mm -hmm. name Trio. We have uh, chicken, al pastor, mm -hmm. and we have uh, steak. Uh -huh. So we have a uh, three rotisserie that they kind of uh, we have a robots that cook the meat and cut them. Oh. So wow. so it's basically build your own fast casual restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's different from any other Mediterranean restaurant. It's not your typical traditional restaurant. We are more like a fusion. Uh, everything is open right front of you in the kitchen when you come in. So you, you build your own, you build your own bowl, you build your own uh, pocket, you build your own laugher app. And so you can you can stuff that pocket with however stuff. much you want, right? Uh, just shove yes, it all shove in. Shove it in one price. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So now what am I doing with this? Yeah, we're gonna put it in. in uh, we actually basically you put it in here. You come uh -huh. out like a, uh, you can put it. The, okay. you, you can get a taste of it if you like. Or, uh, oh, okay. It's the same one that come out. Oh, here. all right. So, okay, okay. So basically, the finished product right here. That's it right there. Yeah. So. Oh, that's good. Yes. Yeah. So we we can also we use it in the steak. Mm -hmm. Every sauce. So we have like a steak goes with the yogurt dill. Mm -hmm. We have falafel goes with lemon herb tahini. When chicken goes with garlic. So basically, in the end, mm -hmm. three steps. You mm -hmm. pick your base. You pick your meat. You pick your topic, and then you drizzle it in the end with sauce. There, there we you go. go. All right. Whoopa. So. <laughs> Right, now, here we're going to take a break, but stick around because when we come back, we are going to be making a village salad, village salad yes. which is right over yes. here. So that's, stick around. Plus, earlier we asked you to share your go-to comfort breakfast. Obviously tacos, but to be specific, potato, egg, cheese, and bacon from Lay's Crispy Taco. Oh, friend of the show, keep them coming. Oh, and Cynthia says menudo. All right, take a look at some of these before and after pictures. Wow. And all of these folks have lost weight. They have been through a total body transformation. And perfect time right now to get ready for summer because it's getting a little bit warmer. Spring break's actually around the corner, too, two weeks away. And Alexander Castillo, who is a patient counselor at Slim Medica, you said that even in time for spring break... I did. You, just can, you can 
get rid of some of the You extra. can. Our program works very quickly. What we see on average is that our patients will lose around half a pound to a pound per day. Okay. So spring break, two weeks away, you have two weeks to get those inches off of those stubborn troubled areas, whether it be the stomach, the arms, the legs, the thighs, we can get those inches off for you in no time. And every time I say it sounds so good to be true, but how does, how does it work? So it's quickly. so effective because our program is tailored for each individual patient. It's not a one-size-fits-all. We see all different types of patients. I mean, someone who only wants to lose 10 pounds, and then we have patients who want to lose 100 pounds. So, of course, we need to tailor a program different for each one of those patients so it is effective for them, and we always make it happen. And the interesting thing is the, the laser that's that the biggest zaps the fat away exactly it's the biggest component in this recipe it's completely painless and it's non-invasive there's no cutting no anesthesia no recovery time it's really just a lunch break thing most patients come during their lunch take a 40 minute nap and while they're under there for the 40 minutes it's painlessly melting their fat so not only you lose it but it's it literally is a lunch break thing it is just come and relax for 40 minutes you're going to do absolutely nothing check your emails read a book take a nap and the laser is painlessly melting your fat this program works so quickly without exercise due to that laser it really replaces having to go to the gym five days a week so i just read there she lost 22 inches and 47 pounds or something overall 25 pounds my wife lost 23 pounds Wow. 47 pounds and 22 inches overall. Look at her before photo and look at her after. She looks like a complete different person. And that was in how long a time? That was doing an eight-week program an eight -week with program? us. Yes. She had incredible results. I mean, half a pound to a pound a day, you can't beat it. You're not going to get that with just doing diet and exercise alone. A lot of times patients will come in and say, well, I have diabetes or I have high blood pressure, high cholesterol. Are those things going to prevent me from being able to do this program? And the answer is no. Just come in and see us. We're going to be able to work around those issues and really get down to the underlying problem a lot of times patients will say it's really easy to put on the weight but really hard to lose it so that always the case yes but we do a lot of testing a full lab panel you come meet with our provider and you guys will work together to tailor something that's appropriate for your lifestyle and of course effective now those folks lost all that weight in the four eight week program yes. but what's the reaction of somebody just after a week and you know you, you get those first couple of pounds we off. typically see around um, for women who do the program around three to five pounds a week so think about it I mean getting on the scale Monday and then getting on Friday and you're down five pounds it's incredible it's super easy to stay motivated because you know every time you step on the scale you're gonna notice a difference and in this you know instant gratification society nowadays you're getting basically instant gratification so and exactly. you've got a special going on today too, we right? do but it's only for the first 10 people who call or text us you're gonna get our four-week transformation package for over 50% off that package is normally priced at $4,000, but today, only for the first 10 who call or text, you're going to get it for just $1,800 with an extra giveaway, 24 units of free Botox. Wow. So once again, that's only for the first 10 callers. And if you want to take advantage of it, call now, 210-361-1480. That's 210-361-1480. Or you can go online to slimmedica.com. Thank you, Alexander. Thanks for having me. We will be back. to watch Mike eat his lunch. <laughs> We're back with another Mediterranean recipe with a healthy twist. Modern Mediterranean trio is here and Anise El Hayani. This is recipe number two. You are enjoying the hummus. What, what, is that just regular hummus? Because you have a, another version, Yeah, right? we have regular hummus and we have habanero, habanero hummus. Oh, habanero so hummus. We have it has a little bit of the falafel. And the falafel, yes. The, for okay. the veggie option, falafel made with garbanzo beans, cilantro, coriander, and mixed together. We grind everything in-house. Mm, and so, then fry it up a little And then fry it up, uh -huh. yeah. Okay. And, I put the spicy yeah. one there for yeah. you to try. So, Here we go. Yeah. Is it spicy? Yes? A little bit of a kick? A little bit of a kick? Okay. Good, good. All right, so we are making what now? We're, we're making a village salad. Okay, uh, and this can be served by itself like this, you right? You can get it by itself, or you, you can put it on the bowl as a side. Okay. Uh, as, as, you, as you go and building your bowl, you, uh -huh. you can put it with Just it. kind of like a little like side like, salad yes, almost. Okay. Yes, All right, so what's the first thing we do? We've so got... So we're going to have the, the cucumber in. All right, so which, cucumbers. Uh, people at home, they can use like a three half cups of cucumber. Okay, Stop and cucumber. And tomato. They tomato. can have two cups of tomato. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and put uh, some uh, cilantro. Ooh, okay. What do we got? Uh, cilantro. cilantro right here. All of this? Yes, all of okay. it. Okay. Right, yeah. Cilantro it up. Some red onions. Some red onions, all of that. Okay. Uh, some salt. A little bit of salt. A little salt. bit's good. Oh, okay. Fresh squeeze lemon juice. All right. And the key to the ingredients is the dry mint. Well. See, you can get the aroma. Oh, oh you've so. got to smell that. 
We're giving the secret away today. So but that's geez. the secret? <laughs> <laughs> so how much of this? About a half a cup. About yeah. half yeah. this? All of, yeah, you can dump oh, it in. Oh, all of it. All all of it. Okay. Yeah, dump it in. Okay. And, and then, then you're going to mix it together. Oh, now we mix it. Yeah, you okay. got, here you go. All you know, right. The great thing about this is yeah. the, the freshness of all the flavors and the different, you know, the dill and the mint and everything that, that comes together, but you're just overwhelmed by the freshness yeah. of everything. Everything's fresh. Everything yeah. made, made in house every day. Uh, uh, our pocket made in house. Right. We make our dough every morning. And you're different from other Mediterranean. Mediterranean restaurants wait, wait. because folks can kind of build their own. They can right? build their own. One price, you know. There's no secret menus. You don't have you don't have to have a Greek friend or to come in. <laughs> you can come by yourself. No, You're you welcome. Have the secret <laughs> okay. Yeah. All you right. Can. So there we go. And then How'd you do? we have a street fries as well, and as they call street, uh, they're with al pastor. Uh huh. And it has like a, you, uh, we have our feisty feta, which is spicy feta, and we have jalapenos. Cilantro and pineapple. Oh my God! Yeah, so, I know. So I, I, we have all options. You have healthy. You know, if you need, he, he's, he, he wants go. it. Okay, here you go. So these are the street fries. Street yeah, fries. street, fri mm -hmm. street fries. So oh wow, okay. has a pastor, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Shaved in house, and we got the fries. Mm. And so, that's why it's trio, right? That's, that's From water, why, yeah, the trio, trio? Uh, trio is for for the three meats mm -hmm. that we have. Three different meats that we have: chicken. Pastor. We also have a full bar at the Forum location. Oh, full bar. There we and, go. Uh, <laughs> and we have uh, our second location coming on 51 in Potranko. It's going to open March 24th. So, All right. Great so gonna, stuff. Uh, so new location new coming. Loca and, of course, the, the one location where? Uh, at the Forum Shopping Center. At the Center. Forum Shops. All right. Yeah. Okay. Head to our website, salive.com, for more information on Modern Mediterranean Trio. And click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Next. Contrasting color combinations without clashing. We're showing you how to color block with Anthony Ryan, Season 2 Project Runway All-Star winner. Because we are, I'm here with Season 2 Project Runway All-Star winner Anthony Ryan, and we are here at his new location, Colorblind, which is right here in Alamo Heights on Broadway. Yeah, across from UIW and Bushy Mart. This is, is so that what exciting. they call it? <laughs> I like it. Oh, I do too. Oh yeah, so new location, new stuff. We got a lot of spring in, and we're we're blocking it out. It's a lot of blocking of neutrals and earthy tones, so it has a mod feel, but it's still very like clean and easy and cool. Okay. Yeah. So our first one is Miss Risa, and she's just blocking with some neutrals. <laughs> but we've got some great little details going on, from the, the lacing and the white skirt to the great little lightweight spring sweater that you can untie if it gets a little hot out, and you just play with it. So give us a little turn. It's got some great movement. So we've done it with an easy kind of half little wedge sandal gig. Turn back to the front. And we've just kept it easy and natural and just light. And uh, you know me, separate, break them down, put it with something else, put it with a great pair of jeans, and she's good to go for really any occasion. So specifically with our next one, it's one of my favorites with Miss Rachel. She's doing black and white. Okay, so this is a little more runway me. This is like country chic with a little twist of one shoulder because it's overalls. <laughs> right. Yeah. So this is that same silhouette that we just saw with just a one sleeve half sweater. Give us a little twirl. And it's more of that spring because right now the weather is not knowing what it wants to do. Mm -hmm. So you could break it down afterwards and put these great overalls with say a t-shirt and some cool funky sneakers. But we're keeping it clean and cool and just the palette very simple. And I love those overalls because you can oh, literally yeah. take that to a music festival. Yeah. It's oh, yeah. comfortable and light. But, you know, it depends on how you style it. Mm -hmm. You could put it with a great chiffon shirt mm -hmm. for a little bit more of a, an amped up event. But if you're going to, say, you know, any kind of music festival, throw it with a little bandeau and some sandals and call it a day. <laughs> so our last one is a little bit more of a layered look with Miss Jordan. And she's got on some of those brighter kind of earth tones. Um, so we've done a great little high waisted mustard golden pant and paired it with this just easy t-shirt that's got a little great tie in the front. Um, I love a little menswear right now, so we've got this great little almost kind of trenchy blazer. Give us a little turn. It's got a great little kind of strap detail in the back, but if you take it off, let's go ahead and pop that off. It's just an easy little fun look. I yeah. love that. So we've done it with a wedge and just kept it easy. Um, it's a, it's just a fun play on these kind of color blocking without having to be so graphic and bold and just keeping it kind of easy, breezy. Natural. 
They all actually color palette work together great when they're standing here just alone. Mm -hmm. You can put them all together and mix yeah. them up. And that's the great thing about this kind of whole segment is you could take this and put it under that sweater if it's heavier outside. This t-shirt could go under those great overalls. We could put the black with the mustard. It's playing around with these different earth tones but on a very kind of 60s mod vibe. All right, yeah. great stuff from Anthony Ryan with Colorblind right here on Broadway in Alamo Heights. For more information on him and Colorblind, just head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. And there's always something going on in the Alamo City. It's time for our community calendar. Botanical Gardens is opening Family Adventure Garden March 3rd. You can discover, climb, roll, splash, and explore in their newly revamped interactive garden. They're open daily from 9 to 5 p.m. For ticket information, visit sabot.org. If you are looking for a girls' night out, our favorite flower crafter, Forever Petals by V, is hosting a flower workshop March 8th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at La Margarita Restaurant. Tickets are $40 each, but they do include food and all of the materials for all of the flowers. Love good music? Jam out at the American Brass Quintet Concert happening Sunday, March 5th at 3.15 p.m. Celebrating San Antonio's 300th and S.A. Chamber Music 75th anniversary, the High Priests of Brass Chamber Music will perform a socially, specially commissioned program. Tickets are only $25 and can be purchased at www.sacms.org. And if you're looking for a date night out at the Southwest School of Art is hosting their benefit wine auction. Proceeds provide scholarships for students in their school programs. The event is Thursday at 6.30 p.m. Is this what it looks like when you go to bed at night? <laughs> Tossing and turning with your partner snoring beside you, struggling, punching. I'm just kidding. Okay, what if, what if your sleep could look like this? peaceful, restful, and then you feel more energized during the day. Here with me today is Veronica Morilla, sleep technician with Premier Sleep Solutions. First off, why are so many people snoring at night? So a lot of people are snoring at night and they're not realizing that they could possibly have obstructive sleep apnea. So when you snore, our concern is when you're snoring and all of a sudden you have a pause in that, in that air and then so then it keeps on happening and happening. It could happen hundreds of times during the night. So we're concerned and we're, we want to find out what exactly is going on. So when that pause is taken, you're not breathing in that moment, exactly. right? Exactly. Or those exactly. moments. Right. Okay. And, and it puts a lot of stress in your heart. So how is it typically treated? So the obstruction of the airway is, typic is typically treated by the um, CPAP machine, mm -hmm. which a lot of people cannot stand that, as you can see on TV. Oh. Yeah, very cumbersome. Yeah. Most of the people out there are not wearing them, and they just put them under the bed, forget about it. They don't get treated. Oh, yeah, no way. I mean, I, how could you sleep? With, I mean, that would just bother you. It does. Time, right? it, 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 puts, it puts air down your nose, yeah. down your throat, so people feel like they're choking. Mm -hmm. It's very uncomfortable. Right. And then you can't really, you know, turn positions or anything like right. that. Right, you have to be still. still just like this. Don't just move. Like that. Don't move. <laughs> oh, yeah, get a restful night's sleep, huh? But you have an alternative. We do. We have an alternative for those who, with mild to moderate um, sleep apnea and those who have failed or declined CPAP therapy, we offer an alternative, which is this little guy right here. It is a mouth guard that anchors to your upper and your lower teeth. It brings that lower jaw forward, and by bringing that lower jaw forward, it keeps that airway open naturally. I think for some folks looking at this, it's kind of like wearing your retainer or, yeah. you know, a yeah. little bit like that, right? Yeah, you have a lot of range of motion. You're able to talk, you're able to drink water, get up in the middle of the night, have to go to the bathroom. You don't have to get unhooked right. and get hooked back well, up. And, and also, you don't have to sleep just like this. Yes, you can toss and turn and be happy. <laughs> right, okay. You can get into your position, hug your pillow if you're a pillow hugger, yes. Definitely. Now, you have a special offer for our viewers today. We do. We have the first 25 callers get a free consultation. That's a $200 value. Okay, so $200 value, free sleep consultation to the first 25 callers, right? Yes. And I also want to mention that most insurances do cover mm -hmm. and as well as Medicare. All right. Well, the number to call, let's get it up on your screen, 598-8200. That's 598-8200. Or you could head to StopSnoringTX.com. That's StopSnoringTX.com. Once again, call 598-8200. The first 25 callers right now will receive a free sleep consultation at $200 value 
and get some rest. We'll be right back. They say it's the most important meal of the day. Oh, yeah. Breakfast. Yes, breakfast like a king, right? Yep. All right, Joey says his go-to comfort breakfast is good old peanut butter and jelly on toasted English muffin with a glass of chocolate milk. Oh, Chocolate yes. milk was the topper on that one. Right? I'm sold. Cereal in a cup. Ooh. Or it's peanut butter and jelly sandwich to go. Why does cereal in a cup taste so much better? It just does. I love that. That was it? That was it? Thought there were more. Oh, <laughs> ten, 10 seconds left. Hey, I'm swimming with belugas tomorrow at SeaWorld. Yes, it's a try. Yep.